Hey guys, it's Natalie and welcome to my channel, SimAddiction090. And uh, yeah, so um, first off, I just wanted to say if you want to know more about me, then definitely check out my introduction video that I posted a few hours ago so you can get to know me a little bit before you kind of just watch my videos. But um, if you don't want to watch that, basically my name is Natalie and I'm 14. <clears throat> And I love The Sims. So, I'm my first Let's Play is going to be the uh, University Life Let's Play. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So, this is Carly uh, Espinosa. And Carly is really laid back compared to her sister Caroline. She's like, you know, I'm in high school. I mean, and she's like, I'm in college. I don't need to impress anybody. I'm not trying to impress anybody. I'm just trying to get my studies done and leave. Like, she just doesn't really care. Like, she cares what she looks like, but she doesn't try really hard to look good every day. She just kind of throws on clothes, and if she looks decent, you know, she leaves. But she can definitely dress up when she needs to. Um, she is really, really pretty. Um, and she just definitely knows how to dress up when she needs to. So this is uh, an example. <clears throat> but for her sleepwear, she's just it's just pretty much regular <clears throat> Sims sleepwear. Sorry, I have a little bit of a cold. I'm getting sore throat and I'm getting a cold, which is awesome. Um, so for ath for her athletic wear, I really wanted to step out of my style box, I guess, and try something new. So I've never worn this shirt, and this is, a lot of these clothes are from either University Life, um, Custom Content, or Late Night. Those two have amazing clothes to wear, um, they're so cute. University Life and Late Night has really good guy clothes, personally, I think. And yeah, so I've never worn this university, I mean this shirt before, and I think it's really, really cute for like athletic wear. Um, and I've never worn these blue yoga pants or whatever. And this, this hair I think is really cute. I've never worn this hair before either, but I think it's so cute for like athletic wear. And for her swimwear, you know, when you go swimming, you want to look confident with your body. So she definitely did try a little bit to look good. So she just straightened her hair and made it look nice and put on a cute bathing suit. So this bathing suit comes with the Sims 3, but you kind of have to customly design it with the uh, create a style tool. And for her outerwear, you know, she's like, well, I'm playing in the snow and I'm nice and warm and comfortable. You girls will be in high heels falling in the snow and looking dumb. And you know, she's just really comfortable in this outfit and you know, yeah. So for her personality, she is smarter. She's a little geeky, but she's kind of like really pretty, you know, I don't know how to describe that, but she's smart. Um, she's clumsy, computer whiz, a coward, eco-friendly, and a vegetarian, and she wants to be a world-renowned surgeon. And to do that, you have to reach level 10 in the medical career track. So we will definitely be doing that. So now we're just gonna switch to Caroline. So this is Caroline. Caroline is definitely a lot more dressy than uh, Carly. She, uh, you know, she's just there to impress. She wants to be the girl that everyone talks about, the dream girl that everyone wants to be, and she just thinks she's better than everyone. And um, yeah. So she's like, she is there to impress everyone she sees. She wants to be the girl that everyone talks about, either bad or positive. She just wants to be, she just wants to be the popular girl on the block. So I kept her hair because I'm obsessed with this hair. I don't remember where I got it, but it is so cute. Uh, this dress is from Late Night, and these shoes are from Late Night, and that's basically all she's wearing. And, I don't know, I just really like this dress. I like the cutouts, and I like the stripes. I don't even know. Um, for sleepwear, she's actually looking more casual than Carly is. 
but you know there is i'm guessing that there is college like dress code so i mean i don't think it's as bad as like high school or middle school but like i'm pretty sure there is so you know you have to be somewhat covered up and you know yeah so for athletic uh she is i don't even remember what she's wearing oh she's wearing a sports bra with these uh cute yoga pants and her shoes are not matching whatsoever but i mean i don't really care but she still looks really, really cute. And I love their freckles in their eyes. I think they're so cute. And her eyebrows. Oh my god, I would die for those eyebrows. Her swimwear, she definitely, like I said, she definitely is there to impress everyone. So she's wearing a little bit of a showy bathing suit. Uh, I don't think it's as showy as a bikini, but it kind of has just, I don't know, like this. these kind of bathing suits just have like that sexy, I don't really know like look I guess so for outerwear she is wearing these this I don't know it's really cute it's kind of casual um it doesn't look like she tried too hard but it's still like really cute I love her freckles so much and she's wearing these high heels with her outfit so for her personality um she is flirty a light sleeper, over emotional, a snob. Like, she's basically like, let me just read this, and this is basically how she is. Snobs are very hard to impress, though they love hearing about themselves and will never turn down a com compliment. They dream of owning only the finest things and being associated with the highest, I don't even know, of neighborhood sims. So, that's basically how she is, and she is star quality. So she wants to be a rock star, and to do that, she has to reach the level ten. She has to reach level ten in the music career. Alrighty. So, Carly and um, Caroline are sisters, and yeah. So while we're waiting for the university llama, we're just going to. Um, build their relationship up a little bit. They are they are good friends, but we're gonna get them to be even like better friends. But they aren't the perfect sisters. They still fight. They still you know do all the things the sisters do because they are sisters. Wow. Oh, okay, that angle. Hmm. I'm trying to work on this like thing here okay there's the university llama so we're just going hi your friendly sims university mascot is here to spread some spread some school spirit i also bring the university welcome kit which is useful university information and fun freebies so uh let's see take the uni sims university aptitude test and We'll see how that goes. Uh, so this um, mood that comes with uh, university, it says school pride. Few things, few things. Oh my goodness! Few things bring Sims together like celebrating a big sports win or the presence of the mascot. Caroline burns with pride. All right, and we are going to have uh, Carly take the Sims aptitude test. Oh, and also like um, blogs comes with, come with university, um, comes with the university expansion pack. All right, so Caroline got a 683. Her aptitude test was a 683 of 2400 which is really not that good at all um no scholarship awarded caroline espinosa should consider improving her skills and career progress to earn a university scholarship so obviously she is just a new created sim so she's not gonna have any skills or anything so for business she got a 100 of 400 technology 100 of 400 Science and Medicine, 100 of 400. Fine Arts, 100 of 400. Communications, 183 of 400. And Physical Education, 100 of 400. 
So she is going, okay, so here we have enroll in university. All Sims deserve a leg toward their future careers. Enroll in university and earn a degree that will help benefit your career future with extra pay, faster career advancement, and improved uh, performance. All right, so Caroline should be getting done with the aptitude test, but we are going to go ahead and enroll into a university. Wait, we actually need to wait until um, Carly gets done with her aptitude test. So we have actually have, we actually have 5,000 simoleons, which is pretty good. So uh, another moodlet that comes with, uh, you know, oh, here's her test. So basically, Carly got the same thing, even though she's supposed to be smarter. Uh, actually, no, she, uh, she got, for technology, she got 183 of 400, so. So they're both going to enroll into university. So Caroline, or Carly, so they are going to be there for two terms, and we're going to give them 36 credits, which go up to 5,000. So Carly is going to be, let's see, science and medicine, and she is going, and then um, Caroline is going to be in the fine arts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, actually, we're just gonna give them, wait, oh, they barely have enough money for that. Um, we're just gonna give them 24 credits. Uh, okay. All right, you just enrolled in university. Enrolling in university also earned your household some extra simoleons to help pay for your tuition. Uh, so Caroline and Carly both earned about $100. So, yeah, so there we are in university now. And where do we want to live this term? Um, I have been in a fraternity, which is cool. Uh, but I feel like we should go with the dorm rooms because, you know, it's part of college. You know? uh, so we will go to the center of campus, which is right here, because it's just so much easier to get to the classes there. And... Alrighty. University is actually so much fun. I really do like The Sims 2 University better though, but it's whatever. So, um, now that living in dorms, now that you have arrived, you may want to take a minute to select the bed you want to claim. You want to claim and decorate your room. Don't forget to set the lock options on your door if you prefer to keep out visitors. So, welcome to university. Check out the academics panel to monitor your academic progress during the term. And don't forget to check your class schedule so you're not tardy to your first class. Alrighty. So, we'll check this out. Dorms are great places to live for Sims looking to make new friends while in university. Fraternities and soror sororities are even known to throw in frequent, frequent parties. To make living in a dorm a little easier, be sure to set bed. Be sure to set. Sorry, I just got a text. Be sure to set bed ownership. This will assign specific Sims to use a specific bed. You can choose to do this just for your Sims or for everyone else, or for everyone living in the dorm. Another helpful setting is the ability to lock doors to allow. Okay, whatever. Uh, and roommates definitely have minds of their own. Uh. <laughs> if you hate a roommate, you can just kick them from the dorm. I did not know that. So we are going to go ahead and select our room. We want a two-bedroom room, which I think we will choose. Huh. Uh, we will go ahead and choose this one over here. Now, in The Sims 2, the one thing that I liked that was different is that you have, like, the picture of yourself on the wall so 
yeah, so this is gonna be our room. Um, I'm not gonna decorate it just because, I mean, I'll probably decorate it in the future, but I'm not really in the mood to. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna look at our class schedule. So this is Caroline's class schedule. Um, Thomas School of Art, she's Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12 p.m. and it ends at 2 p.m. And then uh, Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Friday, um, sorry, I have hiccups. Um, she has the Theory of Insanity 102 at 4 p.m. at the Boucher School of Science. Uh, fine, art, fine Arts Lecture at the Connor Student Union Building is Tuesday at 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. And the Fine Arts Class Activity at the Thomas School of Art is Thursday at 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. I think my hiccups went away. Um... So this is oh my goodness. So this is the car, this is Carly's schedule. Um, theory of education. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, eight a.m. to ten p.m. ten a.m. Research of mathematics. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, twelve p.m. to two p.m. Science and medicine le lecture. Connor Student Union Building. Tuesday, eight a.m. to ten p ten a.m. Science and medicine class activity. Thursday, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. So, uh, now with each, um, with each uh, major comes a specific object that you get. So, with uh, Carly's major, you get the Them Bones uh, Anatomy Skeleton, and you get Exploring the Microscopic World Book. With Carl, with Caroline's major, you get the graph graffiti tiology. Um, I don't know how to say that. The rhythm and poetry of art, and you get a internal reflection sketchbook. Uh, I don't think that's really gonna help with her singing career, but you know what? Whatever. Uh, so let's you know talk to a few of our dorm people. So, uh, she's going to go talk to the jock or the rebel, give him a friendly introduction, and Carly's going to talk to Tiffany Angel, Angles, who is a nerd. Ooh, this, she looks like she would be cute with him. Hmm. Alright, so, Caroline's going to go talk to him. Let's see. Mmm, he's... You know, he has some potential. He's not really ugly, but he's not, you know, haughty Lamati with the swimmer's body either, but he definitely has some potential. Uh, just making sure this is recording. Uh, all right, so this is Tiffany Inglis. You can definitely tell she has makeup on because she is pale. Hmm. It's not very pretty either hate to judge but she's like wearing purple eyeshadow which is not really cute but she she could be pretty she could be really pretty actually but you know sims just makes people ugly and here is the beautiful carly gosh i wish i could figure out how to use this all right so um here we have tammy parker millie grubb and a naughty moon. So let's see what they're talking about. So she's going to get a little bit flirty with everyone she meets. So she's going to ask his sign, and I think they both have a little crush on each other. Well, he does. She's going to ask him if she's he's single, and what are they talking about? Uh, let's talk about nerd stuff. Uh, talk about going green talk about composting they should be having this meeting soon oh okay over here we will go ahead and check the job board because I'm pretty sure it comes with like uh, dares to do so you can maybe she'll be a no she won't I don't know if I want her to be a jock or a rebel Maybe both, because I feel like she could be, like, the cheerleader, you know, be in that cheerleader jock group. Um, but then I feel like, 
you know, she's a rebellious one. She's going to party till she sees the sun. Like, party all night till we see the sun. That's a song. I don't remember what. Spice up a bonfire? Hmm, I don't really know how to do that. I think you put spice in it. I have no idea. I don't know. That sounded really dumb. Uh, create street art, street art anywhere in town. I really don't have a thingy to do that with. Um, perform a keg stand with a keg. So usually the night of, like, the day you get there, there's a party. So we'll definitely be invited because we are the Espinosa sisters. I mean, you know. Uh... So, let's see. Alright, so I'm going to come back to you guys when she, uh, when they do something. Well, actually, you know what? We will go ahead, JK, we will go ahead and check out some of the places here. So, we have the grotto. So, we're going to go visit the grotto and see what that has to offer. I'm pretty sure it's just, it's like a eating place. But I just want to see, you know, what's in there because I've never actually been there. Like, my whole entire time I've had university, I've never been to the grotto or the little gaming place, so this should be interesting. She needs a bike because she is slow. <laughs> Did they get a bike? No, they don't. Uh, oh, the university meet and greet is starting at the student union. Head over to make some new friends and see what university has to offer. So let's go ahead and see what we're getting. Why is it black? What we're getting ourselves into. Okay, there we go. Um, so we're just going to meet some friends. Oh, she looks pretty. Hmm, who is this? Patty Hong? Uh, Troy. Hmm, he looks like a little country boy. Let's see. Oh, JK, he's not cute. Uh, let's see. Is there any cute boys? I really don't think so. This guy is, like, white. He looks so dead. Um, okay, Patty Hong is not cute. He looks like a Wade Anthony. He looks cute. Please tell me he's not a nerd. He is a nerd. Sweet niblets. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, we're going to read about our cur uh, curriculum. Uh, let's see what we can have her do. She's going to get a freebie. So I think you just get... Oh, there's a vampire around. I think you just get some kind of drink. So she's going to drink that soda. Okay, can you just, like, calm down for 0.2 seconds and just read about your curriculum, please? Thank you. Carly, move out of the way before you get punched. Carly, go here. No, go here. It's like she can't even make a decision. Okay, thank you. Now read about your curriculum. And then Carly's gonna go read about her curriculum. Uh, okay. This is Caroline's major. Welcome to the Thomas School of Art at Sims University. Fine arts students pursue noble, I don't know that word, without promise of reward, and the faculty are committed to your academic su success. All students in the fine arts major receive a sketchbook when they enroll, which will assist your skill development both inside and outside the classroom. Keep it with you always and sketch anything that might catch your eye. Classes, lectures, and class activities are required for all students. Uh, whatever, every broke, every brush stroke and flip of the spatula will pay off in the years to come. Da da da. Alrighty. And she's gonna grab a freebie because these are honestly really like having a candy bar on hand will actually be really handy because your Sims will get really hungry during the day and. They'll get in a bad mood if they don't get food. So just grabbing two candy bars are good. So we are gonna go to Ye Gangnam's party, Gangnam style. Um, we're gonna go to her bonfire party. And 
it's at 7 11. all right so this is carly's major uh welcome to the school of science um, science and medicine students develops the next generation of groundbreaking therapies and add to our understanding of the universe the faculty is absolutely committed to your academic success all students in the science and medicine majors receive an anatomy skeleton at enrollment. Use this tool to bone up on, on, on anatomy outside of class and to follow along with the professor's instructions when you go to class. Alrighty, uh, every sample taken, you know, whatever. Alright, so. Okay. So they're just grabbing some... We are going, what's over here? What is he doing? Is he really working out? This is not the time to work out. And uh, let's go take a picture with uh, Carly. Oh, he looks kind of cute. Who is he? He's a bartender. Oh, and this is really actually cool. I never knew you could do this, but JK, he is not cute. But you can buy this. I've never seen this before. That's cool. That's actually really cool. So they're going to go take silly pictures because they are just so cute. I'm going to see how that turns out. I have to sneeze and it won't come out. Hurry up, Carly. Okay. <laughs> Finally. I've been waiting for that for like five minutes. Uh, all right. Okay, so let's see how that those turned out. Come on, Caroline. Alright. Can we see? Uh, your photo was taken and in placed into your inventory. Maybe family inventory? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, nope. And we just did all of that work. Um, so I don't know where it is. Alright, so things haven't been so interesting this part, but I promise next part should be interesting because we're gonna explore the campus a little more and you know go to that party that we were invited to and it should be definitely interesting to see who fails college because I'm sure one of them will. And yes, oh, here's the things, the photo strips. I can't see it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end this part here. Thank